Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to talk about lesson 26 how to take responsibility. Okay, let's start. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, tonight, uh, today, I am going to talk about taking responsibility. It is always hard to miss something in your fault. In fact, people rarely say, It's all my fault. People always make cues or say it is somebody else's fault. It is hard to solve problems because people like to blame others. The next time you make a mistake, take responsibility. For in the words can make a big difference, try saying, it's all my fault. Lesson 27, uh, the world is becoming smaller and smaller. Ladies and gentlemen, more and more foreigners are coming to Vietnam. More and more people around the world are starting to do business. More and more people around the world are starting to learn Vietnamese. More and more Vietnamese are starting to do business and travel around the world. The world is becoming smaller and smaller. That's why English is becoming more and more important in Vietnam. If we want to ensure a great future for Vietnam, we must practice English harder than ever before. Lesson 28 A good book is like a good friend. Ladies and gentlemen, today I delight to talk about books. A good book is like a good friend. You should read as many books as you possibly can. You shouldn't just take a quick look at a book. You should read it carefully again and again. There's famous quote, a man who doesn't read books is far worse off than a man who can't read books. Make books a friends and let books that you rather want. Get a book now and dive into it. Let the wisdom contain books guide you through your life. Lesson 29. Is, is it food? Is it food or food? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I would like to talk about two words, food and food. I will never forget how shocked I was the first time I came to Vietnam and my host asked me, do you like Vietnamese food? I was told that Vietnamese people like to eat all kinds of unusual food, but I never imagined that they ate the old people's feet. Of course, I, I replied, no, I don't like it, but my host insisted that Vietnamese food is so delicious, you must at least try Vietnamese food. food. I told him that I would be glad to try Vietnamese peace food but not Vietnamese food. My host realized his mistake and we both had a good laugh. I was so relieved that the problem was not a cultural difference, merely a case of bad pronunciation. Please take my advice and practice the correct pronunciation of food and food until you saw this embarrassing situation could never happen to you. Lesson 30 how to speak fluent English. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe you all want to speak good English. Now, let me give you some advice. Don't be afraid of losing face. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Don't be, a, don't be afraid of practicing your English. Don't be ashamed of being poor English, speaking poor English. Don't be ashamed of being laughed at. Don't be ashamed of being stabbed. The only, the, the only real shame is that you never open your mouth. The only way to learn English is to let, never be afraid and never be ashamed. It's never too late to make a change in your life. Don't be afraid. No pain, no gain. You can make it. You're great. Lesson 33. The importance of smiling. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'd like to talk about the importance of smiling and kindness. Life is like a mirror. When you smile, people will smile back. When you treat other people kindly, they will treat you kindly in return. Try to spend one day smiling and being kind to everyone you meet. You will see a big difference in your life. If you keep on smiling and being kind, smiling and kindness will become your habits. If everyone tried to do this, the world would be a kinder, brighter and happier place. Start smiling right away. That's all about my lesson. See you in my next video. Bye bye.